27 acres, 35 courts, and 12,000 square foot clubhouse. But will Keller residents opposed to this proposed new tennis facility burst the idea of the bubble? Jeff Hall, live tonight, sharing why some feel this project is out of bounds. Well, Kaylee, that tennis complex is set to pop up just behind these homes here on a property that's currently a ranch for horses. Residents in this area say that is fine, but what they're not okay with is this new indoor facility the owners now want to build. Peace and quiet, scenic views, and a calming landscape Matt Shaltry and Brian Campbell say he's on the verge of extinction. The best way to describe it is like a huge blimp lying on the ground. The folks behind a newly planned tennis facility, the Birch, want to enclose some of their courts with one of these bubble domes. If they're allowed to do it, then why wouldn't anyone else be able, allowed to do it? Shaltry and Campbell already had concerns about traffic and noise when Keller City Council okayed the tennis plex back in November. But now that the facility wants an amendment approved to allow two bubbles, they're worried about their property values plummeting. People researching to buy homes are going to look at the neighborhood and they're going to see these domes and say, what the heck, I don't want to have that in my backyard. Former tennis pro Taylor Dent is behind the new facility. He says the bubbles are common for indoor tennis as opposed to a traditional brick and mortar building. But the bank certainly sees the indoor courts as, as enticing. I mean, right, you know, in, in this area here, it's probably the number one thing that tennis players demand the most. After hearing concerns, Dent says they move the bubbles to the middle of the site and feels trees will help conceal the 43 foot tall bubble. At this stage, we feel that we have addressed their concerns extremely well. Campbell and Shaltree disagree and say, as it's planned, no amount of trees will hide it. We're not trying to say no to the tennis. We're saying no to the bubble domes. Now, Keller City Council is set to vote on this amendment tomorrow at a council meeting at 7 p.m. And because there has been so much opposition, it will require a supermajority or six out of seven approvals to pass. Reporting live here in Keller, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.